Okay? The robot is trying to find the best path. The, be the best path. Remember that it's not aware of that obstacle. Whoa. It decide to pick at once. That's pretty smart. So you indeed are competing for the first position. Well done, guys. That's properly optimized. That's the closest task from the robot. And it decided to go directly to do that one. That's really well optimized. Oh, it went on top of the barrier tape, so they have a reduction of, of points. So you can see the reaction of Team Roboto. And, did it pick, please? The people, yes? Okay. Well done! Congratulations, you have your first picking. You can see from here. Congratulations to Team Roboto, you started pretty well. Only the barrier tape to have into account. Let's see what the robot decides to do now. It's going around the obstacle, well done. Almost touching the red and white line. It is really close to touch everything. It's coming from the shining, shiny picking place. I hope you adjusted the height. Did you, Andrew? You're not allowed, so it will go whatever it is. Okay. Let's see if the robot is able to find the objects first because the light has been reflected and that makes it more challenging. And also the height is different. Yes, it has it. And, and. If you let it go down, it doesn't count. So it must place it on its own. And, yes, see that it's done it. Yes! You have a second successful picking. Well done, guys. Now we'll go for the bearing. The robot clearly has it. And it's a successful picking. Congratulations! You have three objects of you indeed are competing with Beatbox. And I can see Beatbox suffering here on my side. He's <laughs> touching his head like, oh, I'm losing this. Okay. Yes, no collision, no collision. Please, don't worry. It's just that he's moving too much while driving. needs to place, it's not allowed to carry more than three objects on its own. Already has a limit, so it must place them now. There is nothing else that it can do. It must place the objects. Now I need to place them inside the bin. I think it's the bearing, the one that should go there. It did not find, okay, couldn't place there. So it should go to another working station to place, it must place the objects. Just for you to know, they only have four minutes since they started and they already have three objects picked. And see that they want to pick more. Okay, guys, what's going on? I see Christophe and he's kind of not happy, but... He shouldn't be picking more objects, he's not allowed to do it. So, yes, good, please go away. Pick the objects. Sorry, place the objects. Now he's placing, that's good. Free yourself. That's a difficult. <laughs> it does count. It does count. No, it doesn't. I don't know. I'm looking at the referees. It's a drop. It doesn't count. It does? No, it does not count. They need to let the object be placed at a f maximum five centimeters. Five centimeters. So it was higher than that. So the referees. 
Bonacep does that place. Okay. Sorry, guys. Now he's trying to pick one of the standing. Yes, he has it. Well done. And should place it in the empty space. Yes, the robot is working fine. Only a misplacing because, yeah, it was challenging. It's coming to the shelf. Okay. You will place the distant tube on the shelf, and so far everything is going fine. Referees, everything okay? I saw it well. So it's a correct placing. We have, please put your hand together. We have a correct placing from Team Roboto from Germany. Congratulations, guys. So you are indeed competing for the first place. He has two more objects to place, and there are still more objects to be picked. And the time right now is almost seven minutes, so they have six minutes to go. We have plenty of time. There is a fake object in that table. Let's see if the referees manage to trick the robot. They have been quite mean in the whole, in the complete workup. But this time they didn't succeed. Well done. And we have a correct picking from the robot. Please put your hands together for Team Roboto from Germany. We are doing pretty well in this room. They come from Magdeburg. Maybe you go there to visit. I have been there several times. Nice city. Good beer. They come from being the second in the German Open. And now they are competing for the first place here in Sydney, Australia. Australia. Needs to place it inside the beam. And it's referees. Yes, it's a successful placing. Well done. Congratulations to Team Roboto. Wow, this is almost perfect. Only the ball, they let it drop too high. Only one of the placing was not correct. Yes, he's able to avoid the obstacle. It's going quite well. And it will go for the rotating table. In the rotating table, it should be able to find the object and pick it. This picking is kind of fishing because the objects are moving. So it needs to first find them and then predict when they can be again in a reaching point. The time right now, nine minutes and 10 seconds. So which means that they still have three minutes and 45 seconds. So, the robot is being too ambitious. The team robot doesn't know why, but is not supposed to pick from the rotating table. From the object that needs to be picked, there is none of them from the rotating table. Okay, so if... Sorry. They didn't program the robot to go to the rotating table to pick, but the referee bots, actually one of the objects, the profile, yes, the profile is also part of the object that needs to be picked. So the robot decided by its own, I don't know how, to go there. So they decided to stop. They stopped. That was an impressive room. Please put your hand together for Team Roboto from Magdeburg, Germany.